launched beginning of last year, the ACH-130 Aston Martin Edition is a stylish version of the ACH-130, embedding a range of exterior and interior designs created by Aston Martin. You probably wonder how the completion is done here in the UK, how went the collaboration and what are the main features of this very special helicopter. To tell us everything about this collaboration, today with us Marek Reshman, Chief Creative Officer at Aston Martin and Colin James, Airbus Helicopters Managing Director here in Oxford. My name is Xavier Vautrin, Airbus Corporate Helicopters Marketing Manager, your host today, and welcome to this episode dedicated to the ACH-130 Aston Martin Edition. The original product of this partnership the ACH-130 is a seven-seat single-engine helicopter made at Herbus Helicopters headquarters in Marseille, south of France. Now, Colin, take us through the process around shaping the green aircraft arriving from France into it being finished into an Aston Martin edition here in your facilities. So the normal lead time for an ACH-130 is around 12 to 14 months from order. So we have, uh, let's say, a good knowledge about the, let's say, the time frames and the schedules that we have to work to. And, uh, and so basically when we know a helicopter's been ordered, we put everything, let's say, into, let's say, or we set everything up so that when the aircraft arrives, which is normally after about nine or 10 months, we'll have the aircraft arriving here in Oxford. And, uh, and then basically we can set to work. So the aircraft normally will, will ship over on a, on a truck deliver it directly, let's say, from, from the Marignan uh, site directly to Oxford. And, uh, and then we'll um, basically take it, take it apart, take all the, let's say, all the different panels, doors, everything out. And, uh, and then it will be taken over, um, all the interior stuff will be taken over to the Aston Martin uh, trimmer that we use. In general, what we can say is that we've tried to use, let's say, the Aston Martin supply chain for all of the Aston Martin work to keep it, let's say, as traditional as possible. So the interior panelling goes off to the trimmers, the seats, and so on and so forth, that they can be, um, let's say, that they can be fitted uh, with all of the, uh, let's say, the leather work. And then all of the exterior panels, the aircraft will then be shipped off to the, the painters. And so after about six, six to eight weeks, all those parts will come back to us. And, uh, and then we start the process of assembling all of the, uh, let's say, all of the panels, all of the, putting the aircraft basically back together, um, fitting out all the interior such that I would say after about 12 months, the, uh, the aircraft's ready to be delivered either from Oxford or then, let's say, shipped around the world. And uh, I would say, depending on where it's going, then of course we have all the certification work and the export paperwork to sort out as well. So I would say from the customer placing an order to actually receiving the aircraft is anywhere between 12 and 14 months. Excellent, thank you. Marek, tell us what brought Aston Martin to take part in this collaboration? Well, I think, you know, Aston Martin has always collaborated with the best simply you know we're a 108 year old company that has a great history of bespoke handmade um, as we look at our customers and clients and their lifestyles clearly helicopters are an important part of some of their lives so partnering with simply the best in in that respect was very obvious to us um, we have customers clients who want to bespoke their cars who want to bespoke their helicopters so really, it, in many respects, it was one and one making three in terms of working together with, with Airbus to create the ACH-130 Aston Martin edition. And um, prior to be working with Airbus, were you familiar with aviation? And what were your first impression of the product? I think, yes, familiar with aviation. I mean, it, it's, uh, it's for a car designer, for a designer, for any designer, aviation is a fascination. You know, that the creating things that stay on the ground is one thing, creating and working and things that can elevate themselves and move above the space that we create in is, is fascinating. So, of course, it was, it was, um, for myself personally, a huge delight to, to start to collaborate and work together. And it's an area which is very, very exciting, um, and, and dynamic and dramatic in, in the same sense that the, 
the way you can access the world, the way you can access your lifestyle through through aviation is incredible. So it's it's um, something that the teams have enjoyed. They've enjoyed exploring the the technical side of things as well in terms of how you turn the material and how you classify that material into in terms of aviation then the craftsmanship the skill as colin mentioned uh, the the trimmers the aston martin trimmers how they develop their style slightly differently to trim a helicopter seat versus a car seat so in terms of creating some uh, buzz and excitement it's been it's been a fantastic project good um, question to, to both of you, um, how went the collaboration and how was it for your teams coming from two different worlds to work together? Colin. Um, so I would say it was, uh, it, was, you know, it was a really good experience for our design office, working with an Aston Martin design office. Um, our design office is, um, is very much, let's say, uh, or very diverse does a lot of work in the, let's say, in, so for the Ministry of Defence, does a lot of work for police, for air ambulances and so on and so forth. And so these VIP projects are, are, are really interesting to, to, to go then to the other scale and be looking at the pure luxury side. And I would say the, uh, the real, let's say, um, the real surprise to us, um, no disrespect to Aston Martin, but the real surprise was the emphasis on, uh, on the quality that we got from the from the Aston Martin design office. We, you know, we consider ourselves, of course, to be very much focused on safety and quality. It's the, you know, we say it's the essence of everything that we do. But uh, very, very surprised about the levels of, of safety and quality that the Aston Martin design office were also putting on there. And I think the two entities together, they really sort of, you know, hit off on, uh, let's say, on that key. And uh, yeah, and, and the amazing designs that you know that the, that the team at Aston Martin came up with, it was uh, you know I think it was a, a really pleasant experience for everybody to be working at that level. You know, absolutely, the inspiration is again as a designer, as a creative, doing something different is always going to inspire you. You know, and it's great to design an Aston Martin car, sports car, but it's also great to be involved with something which is slightly different but has a very very similar feel in terms of comfort level the experience you have the quality the craftsmanship so that that was a very exciting moment for, for the whole team for both sides and whenever you work in a different field with a different discipline with a different designer you learn something that is is unique to that specific area and therefore you grow and you learn and the design team ha has loved it i think you see that in in the product you see the joy and you see the love of creating in the product because it's a fantastic piece. And I think if you, if you look at some of the materials used, the saddle leathers, um, the, the colors, obviously, the combination of colors, the stitches, the broguing, and how we've treated everything, and then the luxurious items that sit within that, I think you can see that the team simply had fun. Thank you. Um, obviously, there is a certain amount of restrictions when it comes to designing an aircraft. Could you share with us uh, what were the main challenges for you in terms of design and certification? Yeah, from a design perspective, obviously, making sure that all the materials passed, the, the different sets of standards and legislation, that is, again, a, a different pathway to automotive. So making sure that we could still have the same level of um, luxury, the same touch, the same feel, the same hand, the same smell even to the leathers that go in, but also passing different legislation and different requirements as well. So that really pushed the team to make sure we held on to the Aston Martin feeling with, within the cabin, within the cockpit. So that was really important. And we really, really pushed to make sure that when the doors open, you smell the Aston Martin leather. You, you have that same sensation that you do when you open the door of a brand new Aston Martin car. Colin, certification, how was it? So I think it was, um, let's say, I would say that from, um, you know, from this, coming from this design to get this ultimate in, in, in sort of luxury, texture, feel, smell, as Marek's saying, um, the challenge for us, you know, there's always the same challenges that you have in the aviation industry. There's all of the, let's say, and it's all around quality, tolerances, and then of course all of the, the safety standards that you have to meet. 
So the, um, you know, the, the, the weight, uh, you know, you've got to take into account the weight. It's very important in the aviation industry that you have that disposable load so that you can carry those passengers, you can fill up the tanks and you can, you know, you can still get your, your endurance. Uh, center of gravity on the, let's say, of the aircraft is also important. Uh, things like crash, crash resistance. This is one of the, you know, the safest helicopters, you know, in the world today. And it's very important that, you know, that those crash, you know, that nothing affects the, uh, the, the, uh, the crash worthiness of, of the aircraft. Um, you know, things like the f fire resistance of the materials where, you know, where we have to play a role in, you know, in how those materials are selected and, and treated. And yeah, just generally, just generally making sure that um, you know that that um, that all of those tolerances, head heights, everything around that, that everything was maintained, and uh, and we could actually run all those then certification tests and uh, and certify the aircraft. So, and it was a yeah challenging time because nobody wanted to make any concessions in any areas, and so we had to be very let's say very innovative and very creative, and uh, it was a yeah, and I think. If you look at the aircraft, then you see we come up with the goods. <laughs> well, thank you. That's uh, an excellent transition. Behind us is the unit number four to be produced, and uh, I suggest we can have a look at it. So if we then look at the ACH-130, you can start to see the graphic lines that have been developed. The jet black base color with the xenon gray overline so really highlighting dividing the aircraft into two areas as it then comes down the tail and onto the rotor and then this beautiful um, skyfall silver shield around the top to really emphasize where the drive unit is sitting and this fades down the xenon gray fades down onto the jet black onto the runners. Then if you look just in here, you can see the saddle tan cargo net, so the Oxford tan in the saddle tan as the cargo net and the Aston Martin luggage. Well, thank you. Thank you, Marek. Um, Colleen, I believe there is a specific option for the cargo compartment. What is it? That's right. So if a customer does require a little bit more space in there, then we can extend that cargo bay by about 30%. So that uh, just to give a li little bit more utility to uh, to the aircraft that the customer desires. All right, thank you. Now we're going to look at the interior with Marek showing us the main Aston Martin signature element within the cabin and what are the changes compared to a standard ACH-130. So on the inside of the ACH-130 Aston Martin edition, the detailing is exceptional and when you First look in, of course, you notice the seats, the overcover of leather inspired by the DB11 seat, and of course, the embossing onto the headrests, so the Aston Martin wing, the floor mats, very, very important feature here, the saddle leather that surrounds the carpeting, really emphasizing the rear compartment and, of course, in, in the front compartment as well. And when you look at the seat to give extra storage, we've also used saddle leather for these beautiful saddle bags. And again, with, with saddle detailing, these fantastic chrome elements that you notice everywhere. Here, how the, the headrest is attached. And then this beautiful broguing that you get down the back of the seat where the Oxford tan leather is actually coming through. So imagine like a, a brogue shoe that you would find. Into the cockpit, you have the engine plate as well as a signifier of, of your aircraft. And then if you look at the door card, beautiful combination of Oxford tan and, and the saddle leather and the stitch work that's there. And also the little metal elements that help clasp down the, the leather seating elements. Up in the back where you have your comfort blankets storage, very, very important part and also the, the roof treatment here, really bringing the rear compartment to the front part of, of the aircraft. So if we look at the ACH-130 Aston Martin Edition color and material wall, you'll start to see how the colors can be combined together through 
different specification or individually if you decide you want more of a monotone feel, whether you're choosing the ivory, looking at the Oxford tan, the sterling green, or you go to a xenon grey or the skyfall silver, the combination of carpets with the saddle tan or the black as a surround, and then obviously the broguing, which is a really important part of it because you can actually combine the broguing with any of the colours that you see. Thank you, Marek. Um, Colleen, so far, what is the most successful trim and colour combination? Oh, right. So, as Marek was saying, there's, uh, you know, the, the beauty is also in the combination. But uh, I would say as the main, the, the main theme elements, the favourites at the moment, I would say is the, the Xenon Grey for the, for the main part of the aircraft and the, the Oxford Tan for the, for the leather. Finally, Colleen, where is this unit going? So this beautiful aircraft that we've been looking at today uh, should, be, uh, should be seeing its way in the next week or so to, to Canada, so, uh, which will be our first North America delivery. Like I said before, I uh, had a, an EC-20 before, a smaller helicopter. I've always loved the uh, Airbus product, okay? And uh, so I, had, I flew the, I flew the uh, EC-120 for about two years. I purchased uh, a plane and uh, I sort of started to miss the helicopter. So uh, I decided to look into it. And when I saw the, the new H-130 T2 uh, Ashton Martin, I was really, you know, you didn't have to sell me on Airbus. I, I knew the product. Uh, the helicopter looked really top notch and it, it, I was asked at first when I came here, so are you excited? And I said, not really a bit, but this is what I expected. Okay. But on uh, the same token, now that I've been here for three days and I get more excited, um, I find that Airbus went beyond my expectations. The, the, the quality of the product, the, the, the presentation, um, I found the people from, you know, any, everybody at Airbus here was just fantastic. The service I'm getting, uh, I am very, very, I'm impressed, you know, uh, and it takes a lot to impress me. Uh, this helicopter gives me a little more, more power and more, you know, to bring more people on and so forth. Uh, it's a fantastic model. I read a lot about it. I looked at all kinds of mature. The, the sale was very helpful and, uh, it was a, an, ex an excellent choice. Excellent. You know, my fav my favorite, uh, feature on it is probably the interior cabin, the, the comfort uh, of being to sit comfortably. You know, there's lots of room for me, you know, passengers are comfortable. Uh, the, the new design is amazing. So, so it's, it's the, the comfort, I would say, is the thing, to, you know, and it's not one particular item, it's all the items put together. Just being up in the air is, is amazing, uh, especially in this, this, this machine, it's very comfortable. You know, a lot of comfort in there. Uh, it's very dependable, I feel very safe. Um, I just love it. It's just, you know, a way to get around and it's different and I, it's, it's quite enjoyable to fly. Always satisfying to see a happy customer. Now we've gathered the top common question frequently asked to our teams. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us throughout our usual social media channels. Um, first question goes to you, Colleen. How can I customize my own ACH-130 Aston Martin Edition? In terms of customizing the, let's say, the ACH-130, and in particular the Aston Martin uh, type certification that we have, the customer or enthusiast can have a look at the customization app where you can, let's say, choose your configuration of, of aircraft and color schemes and leathers and so on and so forth. For, let's say, if the customer becomes more serious, uh, or the interest is more serious, then of course they can look at the customization case that we have where they actually get the samples of the leathers and the color schemes to actually touch and feel uh, when putting together their aircraft. But I would say with the combinations that you, let's say, available and the limited range of the, the, production, the production run, then you can safely say that every ACH-130 flying around the skies uh, on the planet is, uh, is unique. Fantastic. Marek, can a customer have a personalized Aston Martin car matching their helicopter? Absolutely. You can specify your ACH-130 Aston Martin edition and your car exactly the same, whether that's the Vantage, DB11, DBS or a DBX. All the colors that exist within the palette for the ACH-130 also exist in our core palette for all of our cars as well. 
So actually you would have something very unique if you did that. So uh, having car and, and helicopter looking the same would, would be quite special. Indeed, very special. And Colin, how many ACH-130 Aston Martin have been sold so far? So today we have seven orders um, for, let's say, um, from around the world. So actually we have North America, South America, um, UK, Europe and Asia. Uh, all, let's say, um, all ordered and to be delivered. This is the Aston Martin number four we, we have behind us. So we have another three in the, let's say, running on the production line today. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for being with us today, um, sharing your thoughts and experience. And thank you to you as well for being with us, watching us. Hope to see you soon. Keep safe. And in the meantime, we'll leave you with this very nice video of the ACH-130 Aston Martin Edition. Enjoy.